First of all, you know, Yvonne has, has thanked a lot about people, but I think we need to thank Yvonne and Yvonne. 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 I'm not long-winded about stuff like this, so there's some good news. Uh, they asked me to uh, speak to you th th this morning it's about one of the reasons that, well, the big reason that I that I relay. Um, we've all been touched by this dreaded disease, either personally or through loved ones, family members, or or dear friends. And uh, our family, we lost both of our parents to uh, to cancer. Uh, my mom shortly after I graduated college. My dad just a few years ago, and it, it was. As with everybody, a roller coaster ride. You get the initial news that they have the cancer. They've gone through their treatments, and all of a sudden they're in remission, and you're celebrating. And then somewhere down the line, you get the word it's back. And when it came back, it came back with the vengeance for both of them, and we lost them very quickly. I, and one thing that I remember with the two things that I would remember with my mom. I think one of the first things is when I would bring her to uh, the Old Mercy Hospital for her uh, chemo treatments. And the first time I brought her there, uh, we're in the, uh, the room, the nurse is hooking her up to the, uh, the IV, and I'm not good with needles. I'm not good with anything like that. And the nurse looks at me and she says, are you going to be okay? And my mom says, you might want to go all and walk around a little bit. I must have turned every shade of gray possible. So that's one thing that I remember. But uh, the other thing that I remember, it was the same thing with my mom and my dad, is being there when they left. Um, seeing the look in my mom's eyes as she was going, you could see it in her eyes as she was thinking, this is it. And again, that was back in 1989. Very recently with my dad. He was at home being taken care of by a hospice for godsends. And my dad, my mom as well, both my parents were always looking out for everybody else. And everybody else came first, even with their struggle with cancer. And my dad, last night, uh, the hospice nurse was there. Uh, I was there along with my two brothers. My sister had not made it up from Atlanta yet. And the nurse had you know, told us this might be the night, but you know, there's no guarantee. Um, as my dad, as the night went on, he seemed somewhat settled. And the nurse says, Why don't you go to bed? It looks like it might be you know, a while, and I'll let you know. No sooner did we leave the room and uh, went to bed. Five minutes later, the nurse comes back and says, you might want to come down. And my dad's breathing had become very, very shallow. And we were there when he passed. And we got the impression that he waited until we left the room before he would pass because he was thinking of us as opposed to him. So those are two things that stand out in my mind, in my life. And I always say, I hope Nobody ever has to witness losing their parents right there in person or anybody dear to them. We were talking on the air a little bit earlier yesterday that I hope to God that someday soon we won't have to have events like this. And that's why I relay. And I think that's why you relay. And I really hope that we can spread that news around and get people out here and recognize what this event is all about and why we relay and know that what we do is going to help those in their current fights, their winning battles, and also help the American Cancer Society in getting that much closer so we don't have to have events like that. So that's why I relay. I appreciate the committee asking me to, uh, to share my, uh, my story. I told you I wasn't going to be uh, long-winded, but that's just it. It touches my heart. Uh, it's always a great event to come out and uh, be a part of and see so many friends we make uh, here at Relay for Life. But I'm really, really hoping that someday soon we can focus our attention on something else, knowing that what we've done has finally helped us in kicking this
spread the disease. So thank you so much. It was a great. And hats off to everybody who stuck it out overnight and uh, joining us here uh, this morning. It's great to see you guys that uh, were here all overnight. Thank you so much. And again, congratulations to Yvonne and, uh, and Ryan. But we'll see you next year. All right, thank you.